This printer here is Mamaki's new JFX. The JFX is also using LED. You can see the blue lamps that are operating at the moment. But we're using a flexible ink, and the flexible ink at the moment is being restricted to the curing time, so the printing is actually slowed down, so the curing is correct for this type of ink. When you use the hard ink, the printer can print at a faster rate because the curing times become faster. So it's capable of printing up to 33 square metres per hour to 36 square metres an hour. When we're using the flexible ink at the moment, we're restricted to about 18 square metres an hour simply due to the curing. So this machine has the capability of printing on the stock 50 millimetres thick and it has a bed area of 1.6 by 3.1 metres. And it'll also soon have a page scrolling feature or a roll feature. So you can actually print the bed, it will release, draw back another uh, piece of media the same size as the bed and print again. So that's a function that Mamaki are actually using with this particular product. Perfect partner to the Mamaki flatbed printer is basically we have two sizes of this particular product called the CF3. The CF3 can actually use three types of head. A reciprocating blade, which can cut up to 20 millimetres thick. It can use a tangential cutter, a trailing blade, or it can use a router from, for composite materials. So the idea is we can print with this machine, bring the board to this machine, pick up the registration marks, and then simply cut around the shape. So making the package a complete digital manufacturing process. This is Mamaki's range of print and cut machines called the CJV30 range. With these printers at the moment, this printer is actually doing a print and cut and a half cut simultaneously. So in other words, when it's, when it's operating the, and, and it actually grabs the, the cutting head, it releases the tension on these rollers here. So when you're printing, all these rollers are engaged so that you get a maximum tracking distance. But when it comes back over the ink, it's now releasing these rollers so that there are no tram marks over the print. And what we can also do, we can kiss cut and die cut. That's a die cut function. So kiss cutting and die cutting in one operation simultaneously. Now these machines will take a number of different ink types. In this machine we're running Juul CMYK Eco HS ink which has good alcohol rub resistance and these inks are called eco in the sense that they have no cyclohexanol and they have very fast curing and have very fast outgassing gassing capabilities with high alcohol rub resistance. Now we move across the range here we have the same machine in a smaller version which is the CJV130. The CJV130 this particular machine is running CMYK, light cyan, light magenta, light grey and light grey. This is giving us finer detail for art, those people who are interested in artwork. But you, you see at the moment it's still the same style of machine. You can put whatever ink you want, making the Mamaki completely future-proof. We come across to this range over here. We have the CJV30, one metre wide, again this particular printer is running CMYK, light cyan, light magenta, white, white. The interesting thing that we're doing, we're running white ink simultaneously. So the printer is using half of the head to put white down, the other half of the head to put colour down, all in one operation. So it can put white down and colour, it can put colour down and then white. Now this is a simultaneous process and after that's been completed, it can actually kiss cut or die cut the shape, roll to roll. Move acro moving across to our smaller machine, we're running an ink type here called ES3. ES3 is a very common ink type that's used in the industry. This ink has low um, odour, but it also, they all come under the same safety standards. So if you want to start here with an ink which I call a home sign maker, a non-commercial sign maker, and you want low odour, you can use this type of ink in each one of these machines. If you then progress to an ink that you want to use higher alcohol rub resistance and you want to use a white ink, you can then upgrade your machine, any one of them, to this configuration which is Eco HS1. If you want to go to production, 
with dual CMYK, you can add a fume enclosure. <coughs> and a fume enclosure gives the ability to make your printing work safe. If you come across this way, I'll show you some features of this machine. All Mamaki printers carry a cleaning cartridge. So the cleaning, cleaning, cleaning cartridge actually cleans the pumps and the capping station automatically. So each of the range of machines has the capability of actually running a cleaning cartridge. If you want to make your machine completely safe, I just showed you the fume enclosure, but you can also, with the fume enclosure, we supply fans, an extraction system, which can simply be a, which can be simply be attached to one of these devices over here, which is a air filter. So that makes your system completely nice and warm and fuzzy as possible. Coming across here, get away, Jonesy. Now, the other thing that I'd like to talk to you about is that uh, talking about solvent-based machines, if you wanted to lower the running cost of your printer, over here we have what's called an MBIS system, which is a Mamaki bulking system. So any of these printers that you're seeing across here, you can lower your cost of printing by 30% by adding an MBIS system. Now, this particular machine here, the Mamaki JV33BS, BS doesn't mean bullshit. BS is actually an unfortunate name for this. It means bulk system. This machine gives you the ability to lower your running cost by 65% by running it through a perpetual eco case. These cases are simply refilled with ink and put back into the printer. This will give you your lowest running cost. It's available in three sizes, 1.3, 1.6 and 2.6. This particular product here is using a new technology that Mamaki is developing. The UJV is using LED technology with an ink that has been produced in conjunction with 3M. 3M's ink with this machine gives one the possibility of adding an MCS, a match component warranty. Because we're using LED and a curing process there is no outgassing required of the, the, uh, the ink itself, so you can laminate within an hour. So that gives it some great advantages. The other thing with this particular product, it can be used as a hybrid by placing a table at the front of it. You can print on the stock up to 12.5 kilograms in weight and uh, up to any length. So it has two types of ink. You can actually have a hard ink or you can have a flexible ink. This ink is actually flexible 200% to enable you to do vehicle wraps. It can print on the fabric. It can print on the board. Generally, it will do just about anything. But to give it the durability, it requires lamination. When we print with our hard ink, it has chemical resistance without lamination, but you don't have the stretch.